Hello YouTube, RPG Dawn here. On today's episode, we are going to discuss how to put your custom art into the character generator. First, minimize your software. Next, you are going to want to locate your generator folder in your software files. If you don't know where that file is, a good way to look for it is go to your computer. In the search bar, type generator and search. If you are using Steam, you're going to want to pick the folder that says Steam and Steam Apps. If you're not using Steam, choose the folder that says RPG Maker MV Software or RPG Maker MV. We're going to choose this folder for this tutorial. Here are all the items that are in your character generator. We will start with the face folder. Choose your gender. The way we will change our art is by altering an image found here. Choose the image you want to alter. For this tutorial, we're going to stick with this image. Make a backup folder in case of any mistakes or if you simply want to switch items again on a different project. Once your backup folder is made, open it up. Right click the image, copy and paste in your backup folder. You will want to do this in each folder for the image that corresponds to this particular item. We'll go back, SV folder, the same gender, and search for your item. Since this item says P02, we'll look for the same number. There are two P02s here. One is the shadow, and one is the actual image. You only need to copy the picture of the actual image. You can, however, change the shadows in the same way we are going to discuss in this tutorial. Now that I have this copied, I'll go to my TV folder, same gender, and continue to copy over the P02 colored image. I will do the same for TVD and variation. Once you have all five images in your backup folder, exit the backup folder. Now, open your imaging software. For this tutorial, we're going to choose paint.net. However, any imaging software that can alter PNG and save transparent images works fine. Now, you're going to want to go to File and Open. Look at your generator file. We're going to use the same search method. Once you find it, click on it. Go to Face, the gender you chose, and the image you're working on. Zoom up to the image. Now, you can either import art over your image or draw directly on it. We are going to draw directly on it for this tutorial. We're going to draw swirls for simplicity. Once you have your image ready, save the file. Saving this image should have altered the image in your folder. You can now go back to your imaging software and open the next folder. Going back to generator, SV, the same gender, and the same image that's colored you're working on. Alter this image in the same way. I'm going to black out each image for simplicity. When you're ready, save your image. Once saved, open another folder, back to your generator, and continue to do the same. I'll fast forward over the next few images. Once you are done, exit your imaging software and any open folders and return to your RPG Maker software. Go to your character creator and go to the category that matches the item you are working with. Once here, you should be able to see the changes you made to your item. Click it and each box should be changed. This will be the new look for each image in your game. One final note, only the original item will change colors. To change the color of your new image, go back to your image editing software and recolor your image there. Then resave it over your old image. If at any point you want to undo your custom items, go back to your backup folder and resave each image in its original folder. This ends this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.